In this video, we are going to talk about how to protect your HD access file on your WordPress website. So if you want to add an extra layer in protection of your WordPress sensitive files like HD access, then let's begin. Hi, my name is Ankit and welcome to Magazine 3 YouTube channel where we talk about everything related to WordPress. And if you want to learn more about WordPress, then make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video. So in this episode of our WordPress security for beginners, we will be talking about how to protect your dot HD access file from any external use or from any external attack. So if you are using WordPress, then you know how important or how sensitive this dot HD access file is. It carries various codes related to the backend stuff of your WordPress website. By default, all the servers are good enough to handle the security of .ht access files. But just to be double sure and just to add an extra protection layer on these files, let's see what we can do from our end to protect this sensitive file. So in order to protect this HD access file, we need to log in in the cPanel of our WordPress website. And to log in in the cPanel, there might be different ways depending upon your hosting service provider. You can do that by cPanel or you can also use any FTP client or, or any FTP software like that. So we can do both ways. So let's dive in in the our backend and see how it is done. So right now I am in the cPanel of my website. Here you see that we have this HD access and we also have a backup for that which was originally created long back. So this is the HD access file which we need to protect and we need to add some code in this file. So for that let's first open this file. We click on edit and we copy everything on this file. Let's paste this on a notepad and let's close this and let's rename this file just to make another backup. So I will make bkk as a backup file and I will rename this. So now the file name is changed. So right now we do not have any HD access file. We have changed the name. So now we go ahead and add a new file. So here is an icon for add new file. It might look different as per the cPanel design of your hosting account. So the idea is to add a new file, give it a name as .ht access and then create this file and then click on edit. And now we will paste all the things here and let's save this. So we have just created a new HD access file. So on the very top, we need to add few line of code. So these are the few line of codes that we need to enter. And I will leave this code in the description below of this video. So you can go ahead and copy from there. So what this code does is actually find any file name which starts with dot and also got H T A in capital or small. It will match all that string, which is actually for dot HD access files. So once that is matched, it will deny the access of that file from any external or any public viewing. So once that is done, we just need to click on save and close and we are done. We cannot test that on front end because there is actually no way to access dot HD access file in front end. So I have just created this test site and that's where I am testing it. So the front end as well as the back end, both of them will both of them will open fine. So there won't be any issue in that. It's just that we have added an extra layer of protection on this dot HD access file. So this is how we can add an extra layer of protection on this sensitive dot HD access file. And as I said, most of the hosting servers are good enough to keep this file secure. But just to add an extra layer of protection, we can add this few line of codes and be sure that we have added an extra layer of protection there. So that's it for this quick tutorial. If you like this video, then make sure you hit the like button and to see more videos related to WordPress security, then make sure you check our complete playlist of WordPress security for beginners in the I button above. And I will leave a link in the description below as well. And if you want to watch more videos related to WordPress, then make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video. So that's it for this one and I'll see you in the next one.